what nothing is working. The part of it. And I want to remind you that I say, I'm praying to God to make you understand that it's only our help. It's only that we need. Me can believe a peke. And the Msad our peke. Katika Changamoto Zet, Nataka to Allah Yakwamba. The only refuge we have. Because we are living in a days of evil. It is God alone. They want us to, to hear a different thing by the grace of God. I want to read from the book of James chapter 4 and verse 8 through verse 10. James chapter 4. We're going to read James chapter 4. Verse 8. Up to 10 by the grace of the Lord. James chapter 8. Come on. Ukifika pale unasema amen. James chapter 8. We'll read from verse. James chapter 4 verse 8. By the grace of the Lord. Uh, allow me to read. James chapter 4 verse 8. I am there. The Bible says, come near to God, and He will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Grieve and mourn, grieve, mourn, and wail. Change your laughter to mourning, and your joy to gloomy. Verse 10. Humble yourself before the Lord, and He will lift you up. Verse 11. Brethren, do not slander one another. Anyone who speaks against his brother, or he judges him, speaks against the law of judges. I speak, uh, speaks against the law. You are not keeping it. But sitting in judgment on it, verse 12, there is only one lawgiver and judge by the name who is able to serve and destroy. But you, who are you to judge your neighbor? Let us pray for the word. Father, we thank you for your word. As I speak this afternoon, let this word, my father, be more powerful to deliver your people to set free those who are in captive collect them direct them and show them the way thank you jesus for there is not like you i bless you and i honor you it is in jesus name we do pray trust and believe in the church say amen. amen i want to speak about the subject i'm calling draw near to god Draw near to God. I have written, it is a call of God. It is a call that God is calling us to come back. Draw near to God. In some scenarios, sometimes we forget to walk in the ways of the Lord. And when you hear the word of God speaking. Uh, like this this morning. It is God himself. Expressing his feeling to us. That's a mungu on a Twitter. And atuambia. Come back, my children. Kujeni tena. Watoto wangu ni karibieni. Na anasema, mukini karibia. Na mimi ni tawa karibia. Bwana hizo zifuwe sana. Na ukielewa ni kwamba. Ukikaa. Mali na bwana. Magonjwa ya chakuja. Jaa itakuja. Viyaka itakuja. Kuonewa kutakuja. Lakini sasa nasema ya kwamba. Watoto wangu umeenda mali na mimi. 
kamba kambi atolini haleluya bali kuna bwana hakuna mateso bali kuna bwana hakuna majuto bali kuna bwana hakuna kuswaga meno bali kuna bwana hakuna kuonewa wa Kenya na kanisa la Yesu Mungu anayanasema leo tumkaribie come close to me praise the lord it is good for you as an individual to examine yourself you are ways with god njia zako na bwana ziko vipi bana wakati unasikia bwana akisema draw near to me it seems that we are not near asiwezi kuana kukwambia nikaribie na already umenikaribia inaonyesha ya kwamba wewe uko mbali na mimi ni kwa sababu ninakwambia nikaribie Watu wengine tunataka Mungu atuponye, atukomboe, atuinue, lakini tuko mbali na yeye. Mungu hawezi akatuokoa maana akutuko mbali na yeye. Anasema sasa kama unataka ukombozi wangu, kama unataka nikuponye, kama unataka nitembee na wewe, draw near to me. Come to me. Hallelujah. And then after coming submit to me. Hallelujah. There are people who are close to God but they are not submitting, submissive to God. I've come to challenge the church of God today that God is looking for a believer or oh, be close to him or oh, be submissive to him or oh, will work together with him and he shall succeed. Praise the Lord. Watu wengi wanasema kama vile wa Israeli walivyokuwa wakisema walivyopelekwa ama kama tena kule Babiloni wako ready katika shida na wako katika shida hawataki kukaribia mkombozi ndio mkombozi wa waokoe wako ready katika mateka Babiloni na wanaanza kulia wakisema tutafanya nini what shall we do now Kenyans today we are crying like Israelites when they were in the, in the in the in Babylon and they were telling the Lord how can we sing songs for you in the in a foreign land if you read the book of Psalms chapter 137 the bible says from verse 1 allow right, me to read by the grace of god please Psalms 1 that one Wonder the seven verse one. This is what the Bible say. By the river of Babylon, we shout and we wept when we remember Zion. There on the there on the poplar, we hang our harps. For there, our capstone ask us to sing, for us to sing. Our tormentors demanded for songs of joy. And they as they say sing for sing sing as one of of the songs of Zion but so here what they say how can we sing the song of the Lord while in the foreign land if i for if i forget you o jerusalem may my right hand forget it it's kill praise the lord wanda wa israel walikuwa wameshikwa mateka wamepelekwa babiloni wako katika mateka wali wako katika mateka maana wameenda wametoka katika njia za bwana na mungu amewaachilia wanaweza sifuwe sana wakati umetoka katika njia za bwana mungu anaweza akawaachilia watu wengi ambao tunaona utuko na shida shida yenu ni kwamba mungu ametuachilia tumeenda katika mateka leo to the commission jazet now wale wa israel wako katika shida wako katika mateka wako kwa shida kama tulio na siku ya leo na wanaambiwa wanaambiwa sing for us the songs of zion and then they were asking how can we sing the songs of the lord in the foreign land Praise the Lord. 
It's like they're asking God, why can you first deliver us out of the hands of our oppressors? So that you may continue singing. There is a challenge that I'm throwing to this nation today. God has not allowed us to continue suffering. The challenge that we have is that we have gone away to metoka katika njia za Bwana umesahau neno yetu tumetoka katika katika mapenzi ya Bwana tumeenda and we are asking ourselves kama itawezekana siku moja tujipate katika maisha ya maisha yetu ya mwanzoni but i've come to tell you this is the time for the church this is the time for you as a individual to go back to the first glory Kwambie bwana hata kama kuna changamoto leo ninakuja kwako uniwezeshe ninakuja kwako utembee na mimi ninakuja kwako unitie nguvu ninakuja kwako maana nikikukaribia utanikaribia praise the lord ndio bwana sema yako if you come near to me i shall come near to you hallelujah there is a message that god is sending to this nation through this pandemic god is saying we have gone out of his will and he's telling us as kenyans kenyans come near to me that i may deliver you praise the lord the power to deliver is in the hands of god mikono ambayo inaweza kutuokoa ni mikono ya jehovah na aweze kutuokoa kama tuko mbali na muso wake kama tuko mbali na moyo wake anasema come near to me that i may deliver you praise the lord because in this nation there are four things that we need that we may be the way we are kuna vitu vingine ambavyo unavihitaji ndio mambo yetu ya kuwa njinzi yalivyokuwa ama ya kuwa bora zaidi nitayataja yote manne bwana tubariki kwa jina la Yesu jambo la kwanza in kenya we need deliverance hallelujah we need deliverance they touch your combos Oh hallelujah. Psalms 1 Psalms 108 verse 12. Psalms 108 verse 12. In Kenya we need deliverance. Magada labo. Psalms 108 verse 12. Somebody read for me. 108 verse 12. What does the Bible say? Psalms 108 verse 12 Mhm Give us help from trouble for vain Again Give us help from trouble for vain is the help of a man Give us aid against the enemy for the help of a man is worthless First off, with God we shall gain the victory and he will tremble down our enemies. Unasikia? What you need in Kenya it is deliverance. What is deliverance? Because when we need when we get the deliverance of God. Bible says victory shall be on our side so this means that even though things are not going the way they have that we should we will want them to be this pandemic do not feel overwhelmed us the lord will give us victory why victory belongs to our god but the challenge that i'm drawing to you as a believer but the challenge that i'm drawing to you as a kenyan is that God wants you to return back to him Mungu anataka urudi tena kwake 
Anasema nirudie.